All right, this is not an advertisement. I buy this stuff out of my own pocket, so not an advertisement. But uh, I saw this stuff on the uh, Project Farm YouTube channel. It's uh, Turtle Wax Hybrid Solutions Ceramic Spray Coating. And as you can see, this side has not been coated with this stuff yet. This side of the hood over here has. And look at that. <laughs> It's just very slippery. The bottle won't even stay put. If I turn it this way, it will. But I mean, you can just see how slippery this stuff is. You put it over here, you know, and you can like turn it whichever way you want to. So it's just a demonstration of how slick this stuff is. I mean, it's noticeable. Like after you put this stuff on the truck, it is very, very noticeable. And it's very easy to apply I've just got a microfiber towel. I take this stuff and spray an area, wipe it down. You can take a clean towel and dry it off if you want to, but I usually don't even do that part. Just wipe some of this on there. <laughs> and then it gets very, very slippery. So this has become, if you've been watching the channel for a while, you know this has kind of become a, uh, a tradition of mine. Every October, when we're getting ready to go into the uh, nasty winter season, I'll clean my truck by hand and then dry it by hand and then I'll put a layer of this stuff on there. And like I said, I discovered this stuff thanks to the guy, I think his name is Todd, over at the Project Farm YouTube channel. He tested all these products and this one is consistently one of the best ones. And uh, it lasts a long time. You can easily get six months to a year out of this stuff after you spray it on. It takes like 10 minutes to do a truck. And then it'll last six months to a year. And uh, like I said, with winter coming, I like to coat my truck in it because it just kind of helps to get, you know, the road salt and the grime and everything that gets on your truck during the winter time. It really helps to wash it off a lot easier. So that's what I'm doing today, going over the whole truck with this stuff, trying to get it ready for winter. All right, time to do some more towing with the F-150 Lightning. So today... I have my, uh, let me see if I can back up here. So this is the trailer check that you can go through. Um, so I've got a new trailer here, the utility trailer that I loaded up. And uh, yeah, I guess I do want that. Um, so there's my camper trailer that I put in for the previous towing video that I did. So today I've got my little 12 foot utility trailer hooked up. So, you know how you can just go through here and set up all of your different things. And uh, what you want to do here, you can go to the connection checklist. And obviously this stuff is for novices who haven't towed before. If you've been towing for years, you already do all this stuff. You can do all this in your sleep. But this is the part right here that's super cool. And the F-150 Lightning is not the first truck that's ever had this. Uh, this has been around on various trucks for years now. Um, but this is the first time that I've had a system like this. So it's really, really cool. It'll do a trailer light check for you. And if you're all by yourself, which I am right now, this is awesome. Especially since this is the first time I've ever towed this particular trailer. So you literally just hit trailer light check. It'll tell you how it's going to work. Basically, it's going to activate the trailer lights and the lights on the truck, and it's going to go through a cycle, left turn signal, right turn signal, brake lights, reverse lights, and it'll do that five times. So it gives you plenty of time to walk back there and check everything. Uh, now, it's the middle of the day, so I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this, but let's hit start and go back here and see if we can actually see anything here. Woo! Definitely can't see it like that. Looks like the trailer light's already on. So I can see that the truck lights are on and it does look like the trailer lights are off currently. Let's see if they come on here in this uh, cycle that it's going to go through. There we go. There's a turn signal. See? And it should do this turn signal over here. It is. You can see it flashing there and you can check the truck as well. It'll do the brake lights, reverse lights, and everything. So that is so handy. Uh, like I said, especially since this is the first time I've ever towed this trailer with this truck. 
so I can make sure that everything is working before I head out tonight. So again, just a really cool feature that they've got on this F-150 Lightning. And I know that's on the regular ICE F-150s. It's on some of the Ram trucks. General Motors probably has it. I couldn't really tell you because I avoid General Motors trucks like the plague, but like I said, I know it's not on, or it is on a lot of different trucks, but this is the first time I've had this system. So you can hit exit there and get on out, but really cool feature. Uh, again, I'm really happy that they put all this stuff on the Lightning because it's just reassuring that Ford intended for this to be a pickup truck. I mean, obviously it's electric, but you can do the same things with this truck you would do with any truck and they make you feel more confident when they add these features to the electric truck, just like they do all their other trucks. So, you know, you can continue to go through here and uh, go through your checks, but I just really like these features. I I'm so happy that they put this stuff on here. You know, sometimes the conveniences are pretty nice, especially when it's safety related stuff like this. I don't like those mirrors, but we've talked about that before. And so, of course, the other thing that's cool about this is it will track how much uh, distance you drive, like how many miles basically you're putting on your trailer, which can be handy for maintenance on your trailer axle, right? Um, and then it'll show you the estimated range that you can pull this trailer before you have to charge again. And this will adjust on the fly as you're going down the road. You can tell it to alarm you if the trailer comes disconnected that seems like a really obvious thing that you would want yeah if the trailer becomes disconnected uh, while the vehicle is locked it'll let you know hmm that's cool so like somebody tries to steal your trailer it'll at least send you an alert um tow haul drive mode and you've got all these other things here but uh yeah i think this is the really cool part just that it tracks for you how much distance you're putting on your trailer like i said you know as far as like uh, greasing your bearings and taking care of the maintenance on your trailer axle this could be potentially some handy information here um, you know checking how many miles you got on your tires or whatever the case might be uh, so again these are just really cool features that they've loaded up into the lightning and in fact if you go on over to the settings tab it has a trailer maintenance reminder uh, thing here that you can turn on if you want the system to actually remind you when it's time to do you know maintenance on your trailer so so that's pretty cool too all right so i got the gym equipment home that's what i was doing with the trailer i went to get some more gym equipment and i uh, did get it home i gotta go get some plywood i had a sheet of plywood but i couldn't remember how thick it was and this is the really really thin stuff so if you walk on it it's kind of like crackling and popping and all that it sounds like rice crispy so i gotta go get a thicker sheet of plywood and level out a spot over there to put this eventually uh, the long-term plan is to be able to put this stuff in the bonus room in our house but right now the stepson is still living up there so uh, the exercise equipment ends up out here in the barn. So anyway, long story short, I got to go back to the hardware store, probably go to Lowe's or something and get a thicker sheet of plywood. And uh, so I've decided that I'm going to try something I haven't tried yet with this truck. And that is I'm going to go visit a Tesla Level 3 DC fast charger and see if I can figure out how to do it. So yeah, I think that would be a good idea for me to go you know, hook up to one of these Tesla chargers and learn how to do it ahead of time before I actually need it. I mean, I've still got about 73 miles of range, so I don't really need to charge necessarily. But like I said, you know, it's a good idea to practice, I guess you could say. And that way, when the time comes that I do need it, I'll know how to do it. So let's go try this out, see how it works. So what's interesting is that it's still showing that I'm getting about 2.0 miles per kilowatt hour. Now last night I took a longer trip. Wife went with me. We went on a, uh, a longer round trip for sure and it was showing the same efficiency. So this smaller utility trailer is definitely not sucking down as much electricity 
has that enclosed trailer and so obviously it's all about wind drag that enclosed trailer catches a lot of wind and so it really kills the efficiency of this truck whereas the utility trailer uh, doesn't and so you know like a flatbed car hauler probably wouldn't either but if you're going to pull like an enclosed trailer or a big camper or something with a lot of frontal area that's when it destroys the efficiency of these things all right so here's the thing about these public charging stations is they're usually not laid out in a way that is conducive for uh, pulling in with a trailer so unfortunately i'm having to pull in sideways like this and thankfully this one on the far left is open because that's the one i need to get to uh, the charge port on my truck but if uh, let's say this one over here was full and all that was open was down there it would be a whole lot more of a challenge logistically just because of how everything's laid out here so this is what you have to plan ahead for and you know you'll, you'll run into this kind of stuff out on the road if you've got a trailer behind you and that's one of the problems that i hope to see uh worked on in the future all right so this right here is exactly why i wanted to do this so i've got the charger connected using the uh, included adapter that came with the truck and uh, pulled up my tesla app and i can't get anything going i pulled up the ford pass app and i can't get anything going uh, it just keeps telling me that the charge session has been paused and uh, I can't even uh, find anywhere in the menu to uh, try to start it back up. I don't think that this particular charger is out of order. There's just an incompatibility here with this particular charger station and the truck. So there you go. Going to have to do some more research, figure out what's going wrong here. And uh, <laughs> live and learn, right? That way I'll be prepared when I actually go out on the road. But it's not working out today. So that means I'm going to have to go find some other type of charger. Uh, put a little juice in this thing if I'm going to drive it anymore tonight. Otherwise, I'll just have to go back to the house and charge it up. So something that I've noticed about this truck that's kind of irritating is that when I hook up the trailer, it will automatically put the truck into tow haul mode. But then if I shut the truck off, and turn the truck back on. Let's say I go to a gas station to grab a snack or something. I shut the truck off. As soon as I come back out, I turn the truck back on and it defaults to regular mode again. It doesn't stay in tow haul. Um, it's like it, it recognizes that there's a trailer plugged in the very first time that you plug it up, but then after that, you're just kinda on your own. <laughs> you gotta do it manually. I don't understand why it's doing that, so. Let me know if yours does that. It's kind of kind of irritating. And the reason it's irritating is because I kind of like the tow haul mode because when it's in the tow haul mode, it uh, does the brake regeneration a whole lot more and uh, your energy is depleted slower. So I kind of like being in that mode. But anyway, that's just kind of irritating. So that was an unsuccessful attempt at using a Tesla supercharger, <laughs> but I will figure it out one of these days. I did a little bit of research and it seems like that from what I'm reading, some of the older superchargers are not compatible with the F-150 Lightning and some of the newer ones are. Funny thing about it is those ones that I was at, they were just installed this year. So I don't know, but anyhow, that's how it goes sometimes. I am pretty happy though that uh, with the utility trailer, I'm getting a uh, pretty good efficiency. So that made me happy. I think even if you had a flatbed car hauler, it would be pretty good. So again, it's just all about wind resistance. So anyway, that's all I got for now. Going to get back to work here, finish things up, but we'll talk to you guys later.